Just Plain Stupid Part 3. Death by Clothing. In March 2017 in England, a burglar gained entry into the roof of a pharmacy by removing a few roofing shingles. The man got stuck while descending and was choked by his own clothing. A few weeks later, the asphyxiated pill seeker was discovered. Already well into decomposition, the odor gave him away. Look before you leap. A Singapore teenager on July 27, 2017, gave a friend his phone and in a moment of excitement yelled, hold my beer and watch this. With that, he leaped over the railing of a footbridge with the intention of landing spectacularly on a ledge below. The teenager and his friend, who was filming, didn't realize that the seemingly solid shade was actually thin gypsum board, and when he crashed through it, he fell four stories to his death. Homeless Assignment In Newcastle, United Kingdom on March 31, 2013, a 26-year-old reporter died presumably from hypothermia while sleeping on the streets. The investigative journalist set out to learn about what it was like to be homeless in England. He left the comforts of his home with a sleeping bag and immersed himself in his investigation for three days. He found an abandoned building to stay in while on assignment. He had hired two photographers to document his journey. He also teamed up with two homeless men to help him with the ins and outs of homelessness. The two homeless men were held on suspicion of being involved with the death but were later released. Unable to determine a cause of death, the coroner labeled the incident as sudden adult death syndrome. On the one hand, it makes sense that his three days of rough living contributed to his early death at the age of 26. However, the coroner refuted that common sense assumption. The coroner did not agree that he died as a result of his time on the street. Don't keep on rocking. A Russian romantic couple perished in June of 2017 in Russia, having a little fun in the back seat of their Russian-made SUV near a picturesque lake. The car's transmission was in neutral. The small SUV rolled into the lake and below the waterline due to the passenger's rocking movements, which resulted in the drowning of the man and woman. Last day at the races. On March 25, 2017, in Mexico, two women decided to go to the horse races. Being at the racetrack thrilled them. The track where the races took place was next to an airport runway. Spectators arrived via cars and aircraft. The women wanted to post a selfie online after the race. They had to climb up to take a selfie of the racetrack. Now horses race on level ground and airplanes take off and land on flat terrain. Perching on top of a car parked next to the unmanned airfield runway was the highest point. Great location for a selfie. They made their way to the top of the highest vehicle they could find. The owner of the chosen car had not given permission. They posed and grinned while oblivious to their surroundings. The noise of the crowd was so loud that it drowned out the sound of the aircraft descending that the victims were instantly killed by the aircraft's wing. Flaming Hot Salsa On December 27, 2012, a North Carolina man, 43, died as a result of what an investigator described as a freak incident. While visiting a friend's apartment, Gary noticed a salsa jar with an unknown fluid inside of it. Thinking it was an alcoholic drink, he helped himself to a substantial gulp. It turned out the salsa jar held gasoline. He promptly spat out the offending liquid onto his clothes. He then lit a cigarette. The result is no surprise. When firefighters arrived at the scene, they discovered the man had suffered severe burns and was sitting on burned carpet. He passed away at a local hospital. Stop the music. A 26-year-old New Zealand man camping was killed on the night of January 14, 2015 while trying to stop loud music playing in the middle of the night. The young man knew his way around audio and video equipment as he was a sound and lighting technician. At 12.30 a.m. that night, he attempted to solve the issue with his multi-tool. The man unplugged the sound cable and then tried to cut the plug end off. However, it was still attached to power. 
His body was discovered at three in the morning with the power cord in hand and the multi-tool fused to his hand. Computer error. A man in France on April 9, 2017 was locked in his bedroom by his mother to keep him from getting too drunk. The 47-year-old man tried to escape by descending the Ethernet cable at 1.30 a.m. His weight was too much for the cable, and he fell out of the ninth-story apartment and onto the street. Blue vodka? A Canadian man worked washing trucks for a local liquor store on April 10, 2012. Although working as a truck wash employee is not a glamorous job, there are benefits, especially for those who work for a chain of liquor stores. He found a bottle of vodka filled with blue liquid behind the driver's seat of a truck belonging to the store. He promptly drank it down unaware he was actually drinking washer fluid. Apparently, the taste and smell did not tip him off. He continued to drink it for two hours. He later died. Do you have any stories about stupid people doing stupid things? Leave them in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content like this.